Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect World Legendary Edition, where we have a couple different quests thanks to Novaria. Patriarch Benezia, we need to capture her at P15. I need to drive out and investigate, but... Oh, the stumbling block. He was unimpressed with my credentials. I'll just, I'm just gonna fire my lasers into the freaking building. Not really. I'm a paragon. A renegade would do that. Let's go talk to Laura Keen. That's our only. Um. Lead thus far. But it is interesting to watch. Um. I just totally forgot her name, but the woman we just talked to, watch her, uh. Sort of change. Not really change, but we, we see her again in two. So, it's cool. Like, uh, well, she does change, I guess, but it, not in a way. She just becomes more of her true self. Which is actually an interesting thing to say concerning her, because even she's not quite sure how that works for her, you know? I act like I know where I'm going, but I, I don't. Synthetic insides is temporarily closed. Hello, Lily Herrix. Spectre, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my ego's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. What can I do for you today? <laughs> you seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Analeus. And a matriarch came through. Oh boy, I'll see what else he can tell me. You know where that matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. What was that about synthetic insights? Scuttlebutt says Lord Keen was on the take. Zainalea shut down SI's offices. Quiet link. So no off-world lawyers come in on it. Ah. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshan. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. He has a good life, man. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers, if you can polish enough gizzard. Maybe you could let me borrow yours? <laughs> sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. Dang it. I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. I think there is actually a way to get his card, like to, to convince him to give you his card. The access to the garage is restricted. I'm on Citadel business. I need to leave this station. If you want to enter the garage, you need <laughs> authorization for Mr. Analeas. No exceptions. I'm sorry. She looks terrified. Let's see, what did my journal say? Only Analeas and important managers have them. So kill Analeas and take his pass. Okay, I see. I don't know, man. I think I really could just specter my way out of this, but we're gonna do it the nice way. Because the game makes us do it that way. <laughs> but that's what I would do anyway, unless I was playing a renegade run. Which it is, it is pretty cathartic to do that. I wonder if there's like some corporate feng shui to all this. Like set up. Where does this go? Anywhere? Eventually? I don't think so. Nope. Oh, I was like, my friends got left behind. We're good. Should I? Let me see. Uh, blah, 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 Liara. Okay, her armor's pretty good. Say maybe I should go buy a light armor for her, but uh, she's pretty good, I think. Me, on the other hand, I think my armor kind of sucks, honestly. Maybe I should get, maybe I should invest in new armor for myself. Oh well, it's not too bad actually. Okay, we're good. Girls, night out. I can't believe.
believe you have the Colossus armor and I don't. Can't believe I found Quarry and Colossus armor before I found anything else. This is essentially the armor you can get from the DLC in the game, but just a higher quality one. Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. I I, I remember her because she wears bright yellow. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. This is, um, I can't believe, she, she's just like waiting for the first person to walk through the door is what it feels like. I mean, it's because I suspect her, but. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. This woman looks like she could kill you in your sleep. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. Ah, so now you're calling me a dull stone when you're freaking the one who's messing things up. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. Oh you will present gosh. yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. This is the thing, is it's like, she's like, we just want to assess, uh, uh, sorry, copyright stuff, but like, actually they just want to like, freaking like, hack into Binary Helix and like, steal stuff from them too. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. I get 10,000 or more credits for every freaking like mineral I mine. Like this is, this is nothing. You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? What they might be doing somewhere else doesn't justify my acting against them here. Very well, Spectre. I'll be on my way. Oh, dang. I don't think I've ever actually done that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever told her to F off because you could like I could go over there and like do the whole thing but I don't mind <laughs> yes I got Paragon points for it I don't know I've never done that before <laughs> as far as I know I always talk to him very and usually in quests they're like you know they're like hey yeah you, you sure and they'll like wait there and be like are you sure you don't want anything Let me let's talk to him Oh, we can't. All right. Interesting. Okay. Well. Good. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They'd only write them down on thin strip. Full benefits, of course. Oh, sure. The company takes care of its own. Full insurance, paid vacations, subsidized housing. After a year, I'd start getting stock options. You hear about the resort, then? At the equator. Bounce packing, diving, an accredited as a Europe field. If you like that sort of thing, I'd rather admire the view. But you're not allowed to go anywhere or something, probably. Man, <laughs> part of me is, because that one is, is fun, because you do have to, like, um, finagle that conversation, right, that you take with him. Like, you have to, like, there's no, like, necessarily right or, like, there's, there's no, they're not like, here's the Paragon option. Like, I think there is, like, you can build up to one, I think. Um, but you do actually have to navigate the conversation properly, and then you can, like, cinch the deal with, like, uh, like a Paragon or a Renegade option, you know? But. So it's interesting, but, uh, we're just gonna be a stickler, I guess. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Nah, nah, nah. Are you Laura Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? 
What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? He's very attractive. Um, Vector, me? <laughs> I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Interesting. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeus cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. I've never seen a Nathak, and I still don't know what they look like. I would love to see one. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. He's a manager! Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? <laughs> Fly in the lotion? <laughs> Violence against Mr. Analeus's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. Yeah, Miss Matsuo is very up upright. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Perfect. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? I actually do love this man uh, a lot. Definitely top five romance <laughs> that I never get to have. <laughs> do try to keep the blood stains off the carpet, will you? I think these elevators, they don't chat. I think these are very quiet elevators. They're so beautiful. We're all three so beautiful. Uh, go garage. You need to go down. Near the garage, anyways, for synthetic insights is. What? Was there something? I think you can go to, like, Analeus now and be like, hey, yo. I... I can... Was it... I think there's something like you can basically turn in Lord Keen and get Analeus's pass. Um... In some way. I know, I know you can, like, betray them. Just like you can the merchant. Not betray them like yeah, she didn't really made a promise, but it's kind of it's basically a betrayal. Let's save. I'm still just like wow. I'm like <laughs> I can't believe I just told that woman to F off. Truly, though, like, I don't know, it is, it's really suspect. She's like, we're just trying to, like, protect our rights. And then she turns right around and is like, you think nobody else spies? I'm like, what does that guy to do with me? Like, why are you telling me this? <laughs> I mean, she could think I'm a corrupt military official, so that's fair. Freeze. Hi. Hanshan Security. This office is sealed. What are you doing in these offices? The administrator's orders. Laura Keene is under investigation. Oh, yes, I was kind of worried. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keene. Analeas has a varin up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. We save like two of them, and then the rest of them are peeved. I don't know where the enemies are.
these are not stairs, I think. Yeah, they always mess me up. I think they're stairs, and they're not. Every time. Wait, isn't... I know there's more. There is an upstairs. Because that's where Karen is. Oh, dang it. They weren't doing a very good job ransacking the place. Of course, there's not much here. Oh, we got a grenade. That's what we get grenades from those, I guess, sometimes. This would be a nice place with all the waterfall stuff going down. It's an interesting way to try to make you forget there's a lot of snow outside. They'd have to... Yeah, the only, the only way you could live in a place like this, really, well... Like, I don't know, long-term in this fancy is to have some sort of, like, underground heated... Facility. Or, like, a, you know, like a spring of some sort. Some geothermal thing. Come back here! Oh, we didn't get to use Singularity. Where'd Karen go? Did we already- did we kill Karen? Karen was supposed to be here. I, I thought we were, she was supposed to have a yelling match with me. That's right, I have to go, but I'm gonna look at the rooms behind me. Okay, where's the new armor? Ooh. A little less damage protection, but significantly better shields and a little bit better tech protection. <laughs> What's it look like? Oh, well, is that what I'm already? Am I wearing? Larry, I was already wearing the predator armor. Oh, like a version of it, anyway. Oh, I was running the Titan. Why do they look exactly the same? Lame. Lame. I keep waiting for to use Singularity when there's like a big group of them, but apparently I didn't need to worry about it. Oh yeah. Make it. We. Well, I don't need anything. Okay. Ooh, technician kit. Oh, dang. Nope. No hardware for our brains or whatever. Not brains, really, for the technical stuff, but our, our Omni tools, I guess. Are you in here, Karen? Nope. All right. Maybe she yells at me on the. Oh, I think she yells at me on the way out. Okay. More med kits. Well, I'll wait until potentially the other fight's done. How easy. How nice. USBs, <laughs> essentially. Also, you would not have glass in a facility like this, guaranteed. For one thing, the corporate types don't want you thinking about how bleak it is outside. But maybe they want you to, they don't want you to get too depressed, you know, they want you to have some natural light. But the glass is like a really poor insulator, you know? Like if it's that cold here. Oh, uh, you wouldn't have so I much. Think you're supposed to be in here. Oh, there you me. are. You have me at a disadvantage. Who are you? <laughs> oh, now you're gonna show some respect? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? You are here They're often dirty cops. breaking the law for bribe money. You expect us to feel good <laughs> for stopping you? 
I didn't yeah, want to fight them. Yeah, they fired no. first. It's true. Well, I don't need a gun. All right, well. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Freaking, they had it coming! Like, it doesn't, it makes me so mad. She's like, you know, you can't kill them at what? So you think- Whoa! <laughs> Jeez! Should've used for sabotage on her. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Cops are not ab above the law, as we all well know. If you're a dirty cop, you get what's coming oh, to you. No, I'm not. Are you? I'm sorry to <laughs> throw you off. You are here fine. off duty breaking the law for Brad. I didn't want to fight them. Mm. Well, I don't need a gun to rip you to pieces. Come back. I don't know if this will work. Freaking, the like range on that is just. Oh my gosh, there's a freaking rocket launcher woman. Oh my god, you have freaking okay. Which one is the one? That touch. Yeah, no more freaking no, get out of my way. Also you. Oh my gosh. And you no, you don't get to play here. You They have to do the body disappearing thing so that you don't like your your game doesn't end up like over rendering stuff. But but boy howdy. Here, let's just grab. Could you imagine a cryo what? A cryo weapon so intense, like it just I mean it just flash freezes you and you break apart instantly? Like rough. Alright, time to singularity this. They take extra damage when you throw them against a wall, but she died fast. All right, well, we're all healthy. We don't need those health kits. Anyway, F dirty cops. <laughs> you get what you, you you get what you deserve. Oh, this is. I think this is a glitch. You're not supposed to be facing them in the elevator, but it happens all the time. At least here. I've never seen it happen anywhere else, but it always happens. Hi! It always office. happens here. Would you know anything about it? It's probably Analeas's thugs ripping the place apart. Uh, don't be cool, eh? Huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. <laughs> waiting. I mean, meeting at the hotel seems like a bad place. 
Right? Because, like, he's already there, and if he sees me what sitting there talking to her, he's going to be like, um... I have to go. You need anything? I was just wondering I'll if... If he'd say... If, he, if he'd say anything. You know, part of me still keeps thinking that, like, when I get to two, Mass Effect 2 and 3, the graphics on my face will keep improving, and it's going to be, like, this, like, massive, like... I don't know, incredible like piece of art by the end, but I don't think that's how it is. This, this is how it's gonna look all the way across, except like they are, I think like in two and three, they were already improved from Mass Effect one, so the improvement, I'm going the wrong way. The improvements that will get, will be on the already improved, like like slightly different graphics. Like I, I think like, unless they've changed this, but like you did have like, um, Oh, your face looks a tiny bit different in two and three. Like, it's not bad. It's not like super duper noticeable, but um, they are slight changes. So it'll be interesting to see if if there are anything new, ish, upgraded ish from the already what was upgraded from one initially. Anyway, blah blah blah. Words words words. Don't mind me, Kane. I'm Allow sure me to go over here and talk to Analeas' secretary. No internal affairs. Why is an internal affairs agent here? The She's executive dope. board knows like about Analeas' <laughs> corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keane to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. I mean, it already is. I mean, it's still profitable. It's not as profitable as it could be because Analyze is like doing things was the under rule the table. Novaria. The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analyze is driving customers <laughs> away. You work for Analyze. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. <laughs> Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm How did he get it? Secretary. You could. You think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? <laughs> this is why I really like her. She's like, she does such a good job of being a chameleon, right? Of like doing what she needs to do, like being like, you know, the like, the like polite and like assertive, but like helpful secretary. And then like her true self, I guess in air quotes, she's just like, come on, <laughs> don't be stupid. <laughs> Gotta let things loose a little bit after being uptight and probably getting harassed constantly by uh, Analyas or, you know, like having to be a jerk mission. at the very least. You help my investigation, mm -hmm. I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. In the long run, it is better to remove the source of the problem. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. Um, What's happening up on peak 15? Before the weather closed in, Han like, received new? a code Omega signal from him. Code Omega means a terminal breach of safety protocols. No one goes up until the crew sends an all clear. That doesn't tell me much. That's so all she's about. actually telling me. No one me knows now. what's going on up there. And if the crew never sends an all clear, even her, her voice is slightly different. Whether you know? or not to destroy the facility, one antimatter warhead from the battle stations vaporizes all contaminants. How can I get you to don't know 15? that. It could Those like spread everything. So <laughs> if you get to testify, I'll get into the garage. Do you know why the matriarch is here? Something to do with Peak 15. She arrived after we received their code Omega, automated warning of a containment breach. She came with an escort of Asari commandos. They took the last shuttle up to Peak 15 with a load of crates. Do you know what she had in the crates? No idea. The commandos wouldn't let anyone near them. They seemed heavy, though. All right. I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. I 
I think at this point you can also tell Analeas that she's actually a traitor. Um, so yeah, there's like a there's like a variety of options you can actually do in this place, which is it's cool. I don't. I think I did. I did do the one where I turned her in when I was playing Renegade last time, and I felt. I think I did anyway. Oh, maybe I didn't. I don't know. I think I did. I did something where I turned Always like some people Spectre. into him. Any news on that? And uh, it was interesting. I finished the job, but an internal testify. affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Enelaus. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. I mean, it's fair, right? Like, he just, he just wants to use it to keep himself safe, necessarily, which is how this place operates. Like, it's not, not necessarily, he's not being Everyone mean or bad about it, he's just like, uh, wait, I gotta cover my own butt first. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board was already investigating Analeas. They're concerned about the worm and their own fruit. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I am charming. I Whoa! This is, I think... You can also do, like, a glitch here. Um... To, like, get, like, infinite renegade or... I think, yeah, I think if you keep talking to him and you don't go to, uh... What's her name? Parasini? Um... You can get, you can like max out like your Paragon or Renegade, which I mean I'm already well on the way. But you can do it like instantly, almost like you know, just like by repeating the conversation and getting the, getting the Renegade or par Paragon points over and over again. Holy moly! But anyway, this video has gone on a little bit long, but really quick. I want to say thank you to my patrons, uh, Scalamonger who is a sapling patron over on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. And I want to say thank you to Reese Kalita, who is also a sapling patron over on Patreon. I appreciate your support. <laughs> thank you both very, very much. A lot, a lot, a lot. And I want to say thank you, a special thank you to Christopher, who is my tree patron right now, and who has always been very supportive on my videos, and I, I just really appreciate that a lot. So thank you so much to all of you, and to everybody else, thank you so, so much for watching. I That's, that's more than enough. Thank you so much, and I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one.